This is the question asked in today's skill rack daily challenge. So in the first line of our input, we will be given an integer n and then we will be given an array of n integers as input. So using these n integers, we have to form a new string. So each and every integer in the array should be converted to its respective ASCII character value. So once when we convert each and every integer to its respective ASCII value, then we will be able to form a new string. So we should return that particular string. So for 83, the ASCII value is nothing but uppercase yes. So in our output, first we are printing uppercase yes. And then for the second integer 107, the ASCII value is k, lowercase k. And then for 105, the ASCII value is the lowercase i. So similarly like this, for each and every integer, we will be finding the respective character and we will form a new string. So when we find the ASCII value for all the given integers the output string will be skill rack so our task is actually only to define a function named ascii to string in which we will be performing all these actions so now let us see the c program for it so this is the function named ascii to string and in the arguments we are accepting an integer named size and an integer array named arr so this integer array is being accepted as an integer pointer arr so this function is expected to return a character pointer. So first I am creating a new character pointer named schar and using the mlog function I am allocating memory to it. So now we have created a character pointer named schar and next I am creating another integer variable named len and I am setting it to 0 initially. So now we have to iterate through the integer array and for every integer we have to find its respective ASCII character and we have to form a new string. So to do this, I am creating a new loop. So this i loop iterates from 0 till i less than size. And in every iteration, the integer is nothing but arri. So in order to convert the integer into character, we have to give the respective data type in the beginning. So when we do like this, the integer will be converted to its respective character. And this is known as type casting. So the character is stored in this str at the index len++. So finally after the execution of the loop, all the integers will be converted to its respective character and the expected output string will be present in str. And in str, in a string, the last character should always be a null. So I am setting the last character as null and finally we have to return it. So this is the logic to solve today's daily challenge. Thank you for watching.